Hey guys, you're watching Pixel Mencha, and today I'm going to be talking about the Sony Pulse 3D headset for the PS5. I think you can also use it on the PS4 and PC. Um, pretty much hook it up to whatever you want, really. I mean, uh, it's got a 3.5 millimeter jack. It's just you can't use the microphone on everything, and you're not going to get the full, you know, audio ex experience. Hey, what was that for, man? I'm trying to make a video here. Jeez. Always a critic. Anyway, um, this is Resident Evil 8 Village that you're seeing right now. And what you're listening to right now is the actual microphone on the Pulse 3D headset. So you can get a good idea of what it sounds like. Um, as you can probably tell, it's not the best sounding microphone in the world, especially when creating content. Um, I wouldn't use it for that sort of thing. But... Uh, it does sound really good in party chat, so if you're playing with your friends um, in Rocket League or Warzone or whatever, you're going to hear things very loud and clear. I haven't had one single complaint yet, um, and no real disconnection issues to speak of either yet. Um, as far as the audio itself, it is fantastic. Um, it's actually some of the best uh, audio I've heard from a pair of headphones, and I have a number of really, really high quality head headphones for audio production and just music listening. Um, I think these things just sound incredible uh, in games, especially games like this that are kind of built around the um, the 3D engine. 3D audio engine on the PS5. Uh, Tempest Audio, they're calling it. Um, you're going to hear things in a way that you probably don't normally hear stuff on headphones. Uh, it's a very kind of like spacious sound. Um, hard to describe that, I guess. Uh, some headphones, you know, you have like a really closed kind of feel. Like it's really tight around your head, the audio. Um, but with these, it, it almost sounds like you've got like a surround set up around you. It's not quite that dramatic, but in the headphone world, I guess it's, it's about as close as I've gotten to that. Um, you will hear sounds all around you and stuff. Um, but you're going to know that you're wearing headphones still, you know, it's not like that profound, but there's just something about these headphones in particular that just sound really, really good in games. They don't have a ton of bass either, which I love. Um, it's a balanced low end instead of, you know, booming hyped bass that's in almost every headset I've tried. Uh, these are just much more tolerable, you know. Um, it's, it's a very pleasant sound overall. Um, in a game like Death Stranding, for instance, uh, just like walking around is is really pleasant because you can hear like the wind blowing around you and stuff and it's just a very immersive audio experience um and it works really well in this game too uh demon souls as well you know anything that's using the tempest audio for the playstation 5 so everything's great so far i got my eye on you um everything's great so far except for the actual comfort of these things. Um, I have to say, I'm not a fan of that. This guy is really, really making me watch him. Uh, anyway, I have to say I'm, I'm not a fan of the comfort level of these things. Uh, my ears get very uncomfortable after about an hour of play, and then I have to kind of take off the headset and give them a rest. Um, I've tried it with and without my glasses, and it's the same thing, and I don't have like a huge head or anything. Uh, pretty average sized male. Um, so I don't really understand why they created them like that. Your results will vary, of course, but for me, they're probably some of the most uncomfortable headphones I've, I've bought in the last 15 years or so um, there's just like a, this little amount of pain that's that's in my ears when I wear them it's like 
uh, the cups are not deep enough. So the, the, like the plastic on the inside of the cups is kind of like pushing on your ears. Like your ears are resting on plastic and they shouldn't, they shouldn't feel like that. So that's just my experience. Um, your results may vary. Everyone's different. Uh, give it a try at least and see, see if it causes a problem. But for me, it's enough to where I have to take breaks and it's enough to where it kind of ruins my immersion a lot of times. So I'm kind of stuck between wanting to keep these things because they sound great and they've got a lot of features that I like. Um, and just wanting to take them back because if you're not comfortable wearing a pair of headphones, then it's kind of, um, kind of not really what you want, I think, but uh, I'm going to test them out some more and see how it goes. I know I'm not really playing this game. I'm just walking around, uh, but that's because I can't really play very well and talk in depth about anything, um, at the same time. That's not, not one of my strong suits. Um, this is a very nice looking game though, if you haven't played it, but yeah, that's, that's about all I have to say. The, as you can hear the cops are, uh, are here now and, uh, I have to go. So I'll see ya. Thanks for watching. Bye.